performing um, in the table through suctioning. First is, I will assess the patient's respiratory status, secretions, and oxygen level. This is by doing, um, auscultating the patient's lungs, um, observing if there's any presence of crackles. If there's any presence of crackles, it means that the patient is under the perception because crackles means there is fluid in the lungs. Then, um, we can use the pulse oximeter to measure the um, oxygen saturation status of the patient and count its respiratory rate. Next is to assemble and prepare all the materials in order to um, save time, effort, and energy. So materials to be needed is um, clean gloves, sterile gloves, the um, picking forceps, the two pieces of um, sterile container being filled with a um, normal solution, the um, tape, the resuscitation bag, the connecting um, tube, um, for the um, suctioning machine and the suctioning um, catheter tube and the towel. The next is I will perform hand wash, hand washing and normal lighting gloves. The purpose of this is to prevent um, cost contamination and to protect myself from the oral secretion of the patient. After which, is I will explain the tape to the patient the purpose of the procedure. Um, the reason for this is that when we explain the procedure to the patient, we are exercising the patient's right to be informed and it lessens um, anxiety. It also uh, promotes comfortability and trust to the healthcare worker. So good morning, sir. I mean, good afternoon, rather. I am your nurse for today. I'm Queenie, and I will be suctioning um, your endotracheal tube. So this process, is all the inserting a catheter into your tube that is inserted into your mouth and it will guide me into your trachea in order to um, suction all the secretions in your lungs. This will also help you um, improve your respiratory status. After which is I will position the patient um, properly in a comfortable position and then um, cover the patient's chest with a towel. The purpose of covering the patient's chest with a towel is to protect the patient from oral secretions while doing the procedure. Then, I will check the functionality of the suction machine. So first, is I will turn it on, adjust the pressure, and turn it off. machine so that if ever it's detected, I can change it further to the procedure. And then, I will prepare the sterile um, factor tip, kit rather, and since it's already here, and then I will um, free hyper oxygen the patient with 100% oxygen. Um, by using the manual resuscitation bath. The purpose of this is to provide oxygen to the patient and to prevent the patient from becoming in a hypoxic state even I haven't started the um, procedure. So, I will stabilize in order to prevent the tube from dislocating and also um, irritating or providing or giving trauma to the trachea. to my um, sterile box. The purpose of this is to, of course, um, prevent cost contamination and maintain the sterility of the seizure.
on the rocks. Then after which is I will connect the um the catheter and the connecting tube from to get I mean each other. So with my non-dominant hand, I will um pick up the sanctioning tube being attached by the sanctioning machine. And with my dominant hand, I will pick up the sterile um catheter. that this part of my hand is already unsterile and this part is sterile. And then after which I'll coil it first in order for me to turn on the um, suction machine. So the purpose of connecting this tool is of course in order to ensure myself that um, during the procedure it is well secure. So I'm touching the suction machine with my non-sterile hand. And then I will suction the end or the tip of the catheter into the normal saline solution in order for it to look to be lubricated to check its functionality and to look if there are any holes. So yeah. Gently um, insert it to the patient in the cradle tube. So, inserting it, I will first stabilize the um, the in the cradle tube in order to prevent it from traumatizing the tree. And then, without pressure. I will insert it slowly and gently. The purpose of not push, I mean, putting pressure is that um, I will not um, put the patient in a hypoxic state. And then once, once I felt resistance, this is a sign for me that I am in the right place, I will drop one centimeter from the tube and then I will um, start um, suctioning and then in a circular motion. The purpose of the circular motion is that I am ensuring that all the parts of the tube are um, well cleaned. So, intermittent suction. Okay. And then after which, I will call it again in order to prevent it from touching um, non sterile areas. Then I will hyperoxygenate the patient with the resuscitation bag with my non dominant hand and pre hyperoxygenate the patient. And then do the same procedure if it's necessary. So I will. Um, Clean again the tube with the normal saline solution. And then I will insert it gently without any suction, I mean pressure rather. And then once there's resistance, I will retract um, um, one centimeter from yeah, the... Yeah, that's okay, but you have to stabilize. Okay. Try to stabilize. Okay. Do not forget. And then retract one centimeter. And then circular motion, intermittent suction. Um, 
take off my gloves, do hand washing, and then document for the purpose of um, ensuring that the procedure was well um, being done to the patient and in order for the safety of the patient and the hospital to my Okay, so let's do the fourth step. Just place it on um, back in the uh, wrapper. Let's do the fourth step. Let this one step. Um, you can assemble it that way anyway, you're not holding the tube that's fine. But there are times when we divide, remember that I mentioned earlier that it can be reused for how many times and we just have to change it after 24 hours, no? Tendency is that it's not a secretion thing, not a little shot. No? So, what I'm really taking more prefer, we have a method to pass the tap-tap sa ubus ng mga ating nanon sa mga mini form, the exact mini form. But that's also okay. Uh, suction your patient the same as what you did in Nina. Okay. Make sure to stop in nice. It's okay not to hyperoxygenate or pre oxygen. Okay. Use the forceps. Okay, if your left hand is the dominant hand, no, sir, but I can put you. I think it's easy. Okay. Wait, wait, did you have sir? Yes. Liquify and then suction. Then liquify or rub. the aura, rinse it, and then put it back.
other part, other side, right side. Thank you.